my name is uh, Jean-Claude Futrell. A lot of people call me JC uh, Futrell. Um, I've been in arts education uh, for the greater part of 20 years. Uh, I started off at the downtown Aurora Visual Arts as an intern and uh, never looked back. Got uh, my degree in fine arts from Metropolitan State University of Denver. Worked for the Youth Employment Academy um, at Art Street over in 10th and Osage uh, in arts uh, programming and job readiness training for youth. And I've uh, been working at Redline now for the last six months as the new Executive Director of Education. Art Core Mentoring Program is uh, one that I oversee um, as our educational uh, programming uh, has a lot of different facets. Uh, we've got everything from our REACH uh, studio program, our community studio. We've got our 48 hours of uh, socially engaged art conversation uh, program. We've got Makeshift Monday. We've got a lot of different programs um, at uh, Redline, including our Epic Arts program, uh, which kind of pairs along with the methodology here with our Art Core Mentoring program. This is where we uh, pair up a, uh, an artist, a local artist, uh, with a young person uh, here in the community, here at Whittier. Um, and they work on a socially engaged art uh, program uh, for the entire semester. And then that uh, artwork is then displayed in our exhibition hall at Redline. My name is Emma Atchison, and I am the Art Core Education Coordinator at Redline Contemporary Art Center. I coordinate the Art Core Mentoring Program at Whittier EC through 8th School. So that is in the Five Points neighborhood where Redline is also. So it's important to me that they're kind of in the same neighborhood because we're working with the kids in the community where we're located, which I think is really important to engage that community. And the program, I can't say enough good things about it. Um, it's a highlight of my week, getting to leave the office and come to the school and see all the smiling faces and get to talk to parents and grandparents and just be a part of the community in a greater way. Um, and then also the students in the program, uh, getting to talk to them every week and bond with them. It's been a great experience for me. It's been a learning experience to see what works and what doesn't work in a classroom and also how to connect with kids because everyone works in a different way so some kids are really outgoing and they want to talk to you about everything and some kids are more reserved and it takes a while to get them to open up about things. Um, so it's been a great opportunity and experience for me but it's also been great to see the students grow in the program and I'd say one of the best parts about the program is getting to see them Think, start to think more critically about different events and issues that are going on in their community um, to get them to pick apart things and see where they might be not getting lied to but where things are misconstrued. So we talk a lot about the media and how to pick apart truth from where someone's trying to twist something and think about issues in different ways and different lights and different perspectives. And so getting to see them start to form their opinions on things and think about things in a critical way has been amazing for me because um, they're at that, they're all middle school students, so they're at that point in life where they're starting to form their own opinions on things. And so I really enjoy that. This program means to me, it feels like a second family for me because I love the people that are here and they're like my brothers and sisters I never had. 